So I told a story a couple months ago, and the person in the story had an accent, right? And somebody caught me off stage afterwards, and they're like, hey, you can't do accents. And I was like, why? And they were like, it's 2023, that's offensive. And I was like, you should go back to sleep. <laughs> But here's the deal, guys. Can accents be offensive? Of course. But as a comic and as a storyteller, I think details are important in my stories. And if, if your accent is important to the story, not gratuitous, but important to the story, I'm using the fucking accent, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You guys tell me if this story is offensive. I roomed with a guy who had a lot of sex. And if you ever lived with somebody who had a lot of sex and you didn't, there's probably a chance that you had to pretend like you were asleep once or twice. <laughs> So, my buddy comes in, and I'm, it's a Friday night, I'm already home and, and in bed, and he comes in, and he's with this girl, she's gorgeous, six feet tall, on the tennis team. Listen, I know them both still. She's a wildly successful woman, she's incredibly smart, one of the funniest people I've ever met, right? And they lay down in bed, right? And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, she also happened to be deaf. Okay, so... <laughs> So they get in bed, and I'm no looksy loo dude. That's not my thing. And they're over here, you know, dorm room, the beds are right next to each other. And I can hear them kissing, just. And then I can hear clothes starting to rustle, just. And then they start to have sex. And I hear. And I was like, is that bed haunted? What the fuck? Are they trying to find a whale on sonar over there? What is that noise? And then it starts to happen faster, just mm, mm, mm. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I got to get the fuck out of here. I don't feel good about myself right now. You know what I mean? And I try to get out of the room, and my buddy goes, hey, don't go anywhere. He goes, if you leave, she's going to know you can hear us, and she's going to get embarrassed, and she's going to leave. And I go, dude, don't talk to me. when you're having sex with her. And he goes just like this. He goes, she can't hear me. So I go, man, I don't feel good about myself being here. And I, I go, can we speed it up? He goes, yeah, I'll speed it up. I go, I don't know what that means, but okay. And I turn back around. Guys, I have the pillow squeezed so tightly over my ear. I don't want to hear a thing, but every now and then just a would sneak through and I was like, oh, fuck. So finally I had had enough, right? And I rolled back over to him. I go, hey, man, how, how do we speed this up? Like, do you need me to blow on your asshole? Or? For real, five minutes a gay is worth this being over. So tell me, tell me what you need. You need me to touch your button a couple times? You need a few knuckles? I'm here for you, bro. What do you need from me? And he goes, I don't know why this is taking so long. And I was like, me neither. <laughs> and he said, maybe I'll see if she'll go downtown on me. That usually makes things go faster. And I go, cool, cool. Let's see if we can make that happen. <coughs> so I got my back to him again, right? And I can't, it's quiet. And I'm like, oh, that worked. And then a couple minutes later, all I could hear w was him. And I could hear like his muffled <laughs> and then this noise <laughs> and I've got my back to him right guys I got my back to him and I'm just thinking to myself well, I kind of need to know what that noise is. <laughs> I wouldn't have forgiven myself if I hadn't rolled over and just taken a peek at one. Uh, 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 right? So I roll over, and she is going downtown on him, right? And he scooched up to the top of the bed. 
can't go any further. And he's doing this. <laughs> and I just lean in. And I go, dude. What the fuck is happening right now? And I'm just going to tell you exactly what he said to me. I, because I couldn't write a punchline that beats exactly what he said to me. He goes, ha, 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 ha. she's so toothy. And I said, what? He goes, yeah, I keep trying to tell her to stop, but she can't hear me. And I was like, oh, no. And he goes, I tried to squirm out of the way, but I, I think she thinks I like it. So she clamped down. I was like, oh, no. I said, what are you going to do? He goes, turn your head. You're not going to want to see this. Which made me go, what are you going to do? <laughs> and I turned back just in time to see this dude grab her by the side of the head and go, no. Nope. 